Well, it's fascinating. The other night, the State of the Union, two nights ago, the president's first sentence on the State of the Union was about how important teachers' work is and how that has helped lead us to having the highest graduation rate we've had in 30 years. So this collective work, I think, is helping drive the national conversations in pretty profound ways. And it's such a unique experience to bring together the ministers and union presidents from all over the world. The fact that it never happened before the department called this first one. Such a unique experience and what an opportunity to learn from each other. In the states, we're working on a lot of teacher evaluation policy right now. And uh, it's really hard to know without getting outside your world what's going on around you. And I think bringing together the other countries and having conversation about how we support teachers at the same time we're improving the type of instruction that's going on across the world is really important. I was so impressed at the summit when we decided that collectively we would develop a new vision for quality teaching profession, for the whole profession. And then we actually did that. I, that was an, a fantastic exercise and I think so much of the work we do outside of the time we're in the summit has been influenced by that work. I know from our perspective the states that have attended the summit have come back and thought about preparation differently and how are we getting teachers ready to go in the classroom, what types of things we're doing in terms of the universities across the United States. So I know that's direct impact of what's happened at these summits. The summit, I think, moved all of us outside our comfort zones. We found ways to agree to build consensus in ways that so many folks here in the United States may have thought was impossible before that. And the only way we're going to continue to improve and get better faster is to work together. And the summit, I think, has been integral to the us moving in the right direction and doing that together. And it benefits all of us. If we can improve the, the whole spectrum of the teaching profession, from the recruitment to the training, licensure, mentoring, to the whole career of learning, that's an advantage to all of us. Changes everything. Yep. Yeah. I think one place that was evident in the previous summits has been the labor sort of management collaboration we've started uh, in, in the United States and across the, the, uh, the world because it was obvious to me that we have to do this together. We can't be at each other's throats and uh, we need to be having one conversation in this country. And we've started to do that not just because of the summits but because of the other work we're doing together. I think the biggest thing that I've seen uh, in discussing things with the other countries is that we all really are dealing with the same issues, whether it be improving teaching or how we're going to assess our students or what the expectations are across the world. And um, you know, with the Common Core Standards, we've upgraded the expectations in our country. And uh, I really look forward to learning from other countries about how they're going to do uh, the, the similar types of things to make sure the expectations are high across the world for our kids. The thing that so inspires me about the International Summit is that every single country in the world recognizes that the future is so dependent that we educate all of our children. No matter where they live, no matter who they are, it is in all of our best interests that we find a way to educate every single child in the world. That's exciting. The summit does so much, but two things that come immediately to mind. One, this work can be a little lonely. There is uh, one NEA president in this country. There's no other. There's one uh, leader of, all our, of the chiefs from all our states, one secretary of education. Um, it's hard to find that peer group here in the United States, but having that peer group across other countries is so important to spend quality time and informal time together learning. The other thing that I'm just increasingly thinking about, and the UN came out with a report today that 650 million children across the globe, 250 million can't read. And while we're all working to take care of our children here in the United States, I think we have this mutual obligation and responsibility and opportunity to think in a much more, uh, with a much more global perspective, figure out what we can do together to help children in other communities who don't have as many, act as many resources, as many opportunities, and the urgent need, a rising tide lifts all boats, uh, the urgent need to help kids across the globe, I think comes through loud and clear um, in the International Summit.